Yo, what's going on guys? Coltimush back at it with top 5 best PC hardware deals of the week. This week, once again, very much focused on video cards. There's a lot of good deals on GPUs mainly on the ones that are under $300, as low as $90. So if you're in the market for a mid or lower end GPU, definitely check this video out. Check some of the GPUs on this list, and without further ado, let's get right into this. So number five is the low non-GPU hardware component, and that is the Corsair CX-M CX450. It's an 80 plus bronze certified power supply. Retail, it goes for $60. It's $10 off on Newegg. Then there's a $20 mail-in rebate, and there's a 15% off promo code. At the end, you get it for around 22 bucks if you take advantage of everything. Now the CX450 is obviously not something you're going to pair something like a GTX 1070 with, but it is a very good power supply if you're building a lower end PC. If you're building say something like a $450 to $500 PC, a CX450M can do a lot of work in that. And even for some higher end video cards, something like a GTX 960, nothing crazy, but a solid mid-range video card, the CX450M can actually get by. And this is modular, for only $22, picking up a modular power supply that's pretty decent, that's a very good deal. Moving on to all of the different graphics cards, let's start off with the lone NVIDIA GPU on this list. That is the EVGA GeForce GTX 950 over on EVGA's official website. It's $110 and there's a $20 mail-in rebate knocking it down to only $90. A GTX 950 for $90, I think that's a pretty damn good deal. The 950 at this point isn't an insane video card at 1080p. It's not going to be maxing out the latest games and getting 60 frames per second. More like high settings, 30 FPS, 30 to 40 FPS. Somewhat similar to a console. I actually have a lot of 950 benchmarks on my channel. So if you guys want to check those out, feel free. And the performance is pretty good. We're talking like in a game like Witcher 3, 35 to 40 frames per second. Fallout 4, this GPU does really well in. Really well given how expensive this GPU is. But for the price, you get a pretty solid GPU capable of playing the latest games, just not optimal but definitely at playable settings and frame rates. Number three, we got the Sapphire Nitro Radeon R9 Fury, 280 bucks. This has been going on sale a lot. This is a four gigabyte video card, and obviously it's a beast of a GPU. A while ago, it was much more expensive. It does seem like a lot of places are clearing out stock of these, so they do come in and out of sale a lot. So if you don't pick it up now, chances are you'll be able to find it for a decent deal in the future. But for 280 bucks, the R9 Fury is a solid pickup. And right now, around that $280 to $300 budget, there's really not a clear-cut winner. The RX 480 is out there, but if you're picking up a 480, I would recommend trying to find one cheaper than 280 bucks. And we'll get to that in a little bit. But the R9 Fury for $280, I do think it is the best option for that $280 to $300 budget. And whether you're gaming at 1080p or 1440p, this GPU just works really well. Spoke on the RX 480 a second ago. Number two is the MSI Radeon RX 480. This is the four gigabyte model. Newegg has got it for $225 and it's got a $20 mail-in rebate. And oddly enough, if you buy this GPU on Newegg right now, you get a Battlefield 1 discount code. No, you don't get the full game. You get a discount code knocking off $20 on your purchase of Battlefield 1. I don't know how relevant that is, but Battlefield 1 is a game that a lot of people are looking to pick up. And hey, if you get $20 off it, then essentially you're getting this GPU for $185 after the mail-in rebate and the discount code. And that's really, really good. Yeah, it would have been better if you just got Battlefield 1 outright. I see how that deal probably wasn't struck up. I'm sure EA wants to sell their copies of Battlefield 1, make at least a little bit of money. But you get the point. Just overall a very solid deal in my opinion. The RX 480 was super high in price. The 4 gigabyte models were going for like $260 at one point. Looks like they're slowly coming down and at this price I think it's a solid pickup especially if you do use that Battlefield 1 code. That's really where this deal shines. At $225 that's not an amazing deal on the RX 480. I mean they're supposed to launch at $200 but if you take advantage of the mail-in rebate and the coupon code at that point you're getting a really good deal and the 480 is very good for 1080p gaming. I wouldn't really push 14 40p with this GPU, especially the 4 gigabyte model, but at 1080p for a $200 GPU, it just performs really well. It offers a very high quality PC gaming experience at a very cheap price. Cheap relative to what's been offered in the past at least. 50 to 55 frames per second on higher end games like Witcher 3, Fallout 4, Metal Gear Solid 5, Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. It's just a really great experience. Maybe not 60 FPS locked, but very few GPUs can give that experience. And for a $200 GPU, you're probably not expecting that anyway. Finally, number one is the Asus Radeon R9 380. This is the Strix model. It's a two gigabyte GPU, so it's kind of lacking there, but it's only $135 after a $30 mail-in rebate. That's a very good deal for the R9 380. Being a two gigabyte video card does hold it back quite a bit, but it's $135. 
you're really not going to be able to pick up a high quality 4GB GPU for this price. And the R9 380, while it's obviously nowhere near the RX 480 for a much cheaper price, it's still going to give you a solid gaming experience. This is another GPU I have some benchmarks of on my channel. I did have the MSI model and I had the 4GB model, so expect performance to be a bit skewed if you were to pick up this GPU. But still, it's a very cheap price after the mail-in rebate. I wouldn't recommend it for the $165 base price, but after a $30 mail-in rebate for $135, it's very, very good. It's got a good cooler on it, so if you want to overclock, you can do that. That. And performance wise, it's just a very capable 1080p GPU. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you pick any of these up, let me know. A lot of good deals on video cards. I think if you're in the market for a mid range video card, you have a lot of great options. And as the fall season rolls on, I expect more and more great deals to be available for anybody looking to pick up any PC hardware component. Expect mid November, there's gonna be a lot of great deals to pick from. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.